seen a bloke come in here, yellow suit, he's on the... Just came running in here, mate. Commander Cardwell. Your car, sir. Yes. Good. Ship without that. Could you tell me the name of your duty manager, please? It's Roger Lavelle. Roger? Yes? Jonathan Moore here, the MD's new PA. Just to let you know, the MD would like to make a site visit next Monday. I'll make sure everything's ready for him. Fantastic. Oh, and he has a close personal friend of his, a Commander Cardwell. He'd like him checked into your penthouse suite for a few days. He'll be checking in tonight. No problem. Happy to help. Uh, what about the account? Well, just send the invoice to us. Good evening, sir. And here at the Royal Langham, we take pride in the fact that our penthouse suite does indeed have absolutely everything that you require, sir. Thank you. And the luggage? <laughs> Terminal 5. I'll send up the concierge. She can arrange a personal shopper for you. Well, thank you, Roger. That's very kind of you. My pleasure, sir.
Bargain me. Mickey Bricks. Hello, Cyclops. Long time no see. I heard you was down under flogging the Sydney Opera House. I was. Some people buy anything. And long may it be so. What can I do for you? Ash Morgan. Three socks. I haven't seen him for months. Heard he retired. You tried Eddie? I called by the bar. It's all closed up. That's because he ain't there anymore. Do you know where he is? No, I do. Either you do or you don't. 50 quid. <laughs> I'm sorry. Supply and demand. It's the bedrock of a capitalist society. OK, I'm going to the fully booked, so no more reservations today. I'd like a table, please. I'm sorry, sir. We're... Nick! <laughs> <laughs> Shouldn't that be my question? Oh, yeah. <laughs> nah, it's, it's a long story, you know. Well, I've got nothing better to do. I, I don't finish for an hour. All right, take a tea break. I can't, mate. <sighs> OK, I'll have lunch. We're fully booked. Are you? Yes, sir. What can I get you? Mick. Half an answer. Mickey. Over. Sir. Can I take this chair? Thank you. Good afternoon, ladies. Good afternoon. My name is Anthony, and I will be your table host for today. Table host? Yes, it's a new initiative we've started, just to make sure that your lunch is everything it possibly could be. Have you no drinks? Edward, Edward, Bollinger, please, for the ladies. Right. But don't worry, it's on the house. So, what were you thinking about? Fine, well, you better get back this evening. Please come. <laughs> Goodbye. You'll get me the sack. I can't believe you're working for a living. Have you no shame? Well, maybe if you lot are paid your bleeding tab, I'd still have me bar. Where's Ash? I haven't seen him for months. What about Albert? Why didn't anyone tell me? Well, there's nothing for you to worry about. To tell you the truth, I'm enjoying the rest. I would have come sooner if I knew you were in here. Yeah, I heard you were on your way back. How? I know everything. You, of all people, should know that, Michael. So, what happened? <laughs> well, there was a slight misunderstanding. What? What? Ray, check his arms. What? 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 Her Majesty very kindly offered to make me her guest for two years. Two years? Then we'll have to get you out. No. You are mad. Here you go, Albert. No. Uh, you're missing deal or no deal, so mm. I've set it to record. <laughs> Thank you so much. This is the best vacation I've ever had. I finally caught up on my reading. I swim, I have yoga classes twice a week, and I even considered striking a guard to extend my stay. But uh, they're all so nice. <laughs> <laughs> of course. <laughs> OK, OK, I get it. You're working. So who's in here worth getting locked up for? Oh, you do have a very suspicious mind. Then I guess you'll tell me when you're good and ready. Albert, where's Ash? Well, right now, he should be fleecing the city boys and the city view. OK. Then I have something for you, if you're interested. An M-A-R-K. Nice. 
reviews. Lucrative, though. Mm, up and down. Well, I couldn't do that flight. No, me neither. I sailed back. What now? I'm putting a new crew together. It's a different world, mate. Misery everywhere you look. Credit crunch, house repossessions, even the banks are going under. Recessions only seem to affect ordinary people. As for the rich, same old, same old. And they just keep getting richer. Cheers. Ain't that the truth? So, are you in or are you out? Archie Scott's still about. Nah, he's long gone. Cock and hen can. Brussels, last I heard. I tried to get in touch with Danny and Stacey, but they're still in the States. Long con players are a dying breed, mate. It's all wham, bam, thank you, ma'am, these days. OK, I'll make some calls, see if I have any more luck. You got a mark lined up. Mm. Sarah Naismith. Uh, Edward, if they're your friends, I suggest you get rid of them now. Uh, uh, yeah, well, they are. Lovely. Yeah, thank you. Made her fortune buying up beachfront land along the Black Sea coast once the Soviet Union crumbled. Next, it was tendering for rebuilding programs in China after the earthquake. She's a nice-looking girl. I don't let that fool you. She's an alley cat. She left China once it was discovered she was bribing officials to avoid building regulations. And in Croatia, if people didn't want to leave the land she wanted to buy, she sent thugs in to turf them out. Hi, Anthony. <laughs> Hello, ladies. <laughs> He's very good. <laughs> yes, I'm sure he is. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Um, anything you want to tell me? No. when you're ready. Sorry. Now that the Eastern European gold rush is over, she thinks that the, uh, the recession in Europe means she can make a killing on the money markets. Feels like there's a pattern there. Making money out of other people's misery. So, what's the way in? Well, she only likes to invest in cast iron certainties. What, insider trading? Exactly. The problem is she doesn't know the world too well. And she wants us to help her. Be rude not to. I need your table, lads. What for? We're paying customers, who do you think? We was here first. Yeah, but you didn't book or anything, did you? But what? A table. Why well, do I need to? I've got one. Yeah, but it's not yours. Whose is it then? It's someone else's. Well, you gave someone else our table. No, no, I don't have... Do you know what? Forget it. Bring us two more large ones, Eddie. Thank you. We should help him, really. Yes, we should. <laughs> so? Where do we find our little alley, Karen? She does coffee and papers here every morning. So, what am I going for? Casual and charming or business-like and abrupt? Obnoxious. Obnoxious. She thinks all men in the city are rude, double-barreled misogynists. Let's not disappoint her. Right. Morning. Morning, sir. Table for one, please. Right there in the middle, thing. Coffee and a brandy, please. Kickstart the old ticker. Thank you, sir. You're having a dabble, old girl. A friend of mine made a killing last month. Sesco Oil tripled his money in a week. I wouldn't mind, but the man's a bloody moron. Wouldn't know his Nasdaq from his arsehole. Thank you. 
Apparently, he got a tip off. Oh? Well, that's the only way to make any money. I mean, unless you've got an inside track, you're just trading with the rest of the plebs, aren't you? And we don't want that, do we? Absolutely not. <clears throat> Simon Porter Jones. Sarah Naismith. You staying here? <clears throat> no. But they have the best coffee. You? Ah, oh, well. I'm staying round the corner for a few days. Business? Mistress. I'm sorry? The old girl's at home mucking out the horses. I'm here to roger my mistress senseless for the weekend. Lucky her. So, what's it to be? Well, what's on your shopping list? Maybe I can help. Well, I'm torn between M&S and London Speed. Who the hell are they? Oh. I tell you you should talk to a friend of mine. Arrogant little shit, but he makes more money on the markets than any man I know. What's his name? William Dagmar, Dagmar Associates. I'm surprised you haven't heard of him. Well, I'm relatively new to the markets. Dagmar's got the instincts of a cat. The first man to get into Google and eBay, the first man to get out of Enron and Northern Rock. Apparently, there's a feature on him in today's Independent. Uh, do you have a copy of today's Independent? Yes, sir. Thank you. Now, I don't know if you're interested, but I'm having a small soiree this evening. It's Maisie's birthday. Maisie? The aforementioned mistress. She's 19. Thanks very much. Here's my hotel. Penthouse suite, 7.30, casual, nibbles and drinks. William Dagmar will be there. Many happy returns to Maisie. Bloody good show. So, what do you say? Maybe see you this evening? If I'm in the area. Suit yourself. If not, I might catch you again. Hmm? I think we got a nibble. Oi, what's going on? I can do you eight at 15 each. Oh, it was a bit steep, in it, Martha? Well, I can do you frogs for 35. No, 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 they have to look the part. Then it's 50. Dress? Uh, smart casual businessman. Time? Seven. I'll let you know the address later. Oh, and I need a young girl, about 19. And I thought you were saving yourself for me. Oh, I am, darling. But I'm supposed to be an old fart with a mistress. OK, so that's eight at 50 and another 50 for the girl. Call it 450 and 25 pence. Gash. 25 pence? Paper. Well, I'm just checking the racing results. Well, I can't sell it to anyone else now, second hand. They tell me you're the man who knows. Knows what? Everything. I think you got me mixed up with someone else. It's him. Ah! Ah! Shall we start again? <laughs> I'm looking for two con merchants. OK, bye. How's it going with the new crew? Well, it's just like you said. Everyone's either hooked up already or moved away. Hold up, here we go. She's in. Some people just can't help themselves. Do you think she'll come? Well, if she thinks we can make her money, she won't be able to resist. Sort yourselves out. Now, we're playing a condensed version of the rag. 
Stocks and shares, yeah? The mark is Sarah Naismith. I'm Simon Porter-Jones. This is my gaff. Mickey here is William Dagmar, God's gift of the money markets. He's made you all a fortune. The first part of the game is keep the mark away from Mickey, yeah? Good. Hello, sweetheart. You're Maisie, my mistress. It's your birthday. Any questions? Right, let's be convincing. <laughs> We found them, boss. Just a question of what happens next. It's a hotel. Okay. Watch and wait. Okay. Showtime. <laughs> Hello. This is my assistant, Aaron. Well, the more the merrier. Come in. Champagne? Thank you. He'll have orange juice. Oh. Is William Dagmar here? Yes, he's over there. I'll introduce you later. Just relax. Have a drink. Maisie, come and meet some people. This is... Sorry. Very pleased to meet you. All right, pumpkin. Lead the way. She wants to show me her presence. Who's he? Oh, PA. What you want to do? We're all set up now. Let's go as planned. But find out what we can. Maybe we should have bought his girlfriend something. A new school bag, perhaps. <laughs> ah. The main man. Come on. How's it going, old son? Good, thank you. I bet she keeps you on your toes, hmm? Yes. Been with her long? Almost four months. Ah, new boy then. Well, I think her previous assistants found her quite demanding. But not you? No, I think she's wonderful. Good. It's lovely to have met you. I think her tongue's hanging out far enough. What about the PA? Oh, he's harmless. I think he's got a crush on me. OK, reel her in. So how are we doing here? Happy bunnies? Well, I still haven't managed to talk to William yet. Well, let's remedy that straight away, shall we? Excuse us. William. This is Sarah and her PA, Alan. Aaron. That's the one. It's a pleasure to meet you. <clears throat> and you. Sarah here was hoping to pick your brain. Oh? Yes, she's looking to invest in the market. <laughs> Simon, it would be nice if your guests asked me something a little more interesting than where they should invest their money. <laughs> oh, well, I have a different question. Which is? Are you always as bloody rude? Or have we just caught you on a bad day? <laughs> a lady that's not afraid to speak her mind. Does that bother you? On the contrary, I find it refreshing. Well, then perhaps you're mixing with the wrong kind of women. I'm beginning to think I must be. Why don't you stay once the rabble has gone? In the meantime, I'll work on my manners. He likes you. Well, he has a very high opinion of himself. Well, I told you, he's an arsehole. <laughs> but you can forgive any man who made you eight million pounds last year. Hold fire when everyone toodles off. Hmm? Cheerio. See you, nice to see you. Well, Maisie's throwing up in the bathroom, so that slap and tickle off the menu. <laughs> <laughs> How about a brandy? Well, not quite as attractive a proposition, but yes. Alan? Aaron. Absolutely. Brandy? Certainly not. Go right by the door. So, 
<clears throat> How long have you known Simon? I met him this morning. Oh, and he's already offering you investment advice? I'm not naive, Mr. Dagmar. I fully understand that he has no real interest in helping me invest my money. Oh. However, I am equally certain that he is interested in getting into my design and knickers once Maisie started sixth form. <laughs> Careful, William. You might have met your match there. <laughs> we'll see. Can I put my cards on the table, Mr. Dagmar? Yes, yes, of course. I came here to invest money, but I'm new to the markets and I would appreciate a small nudge in the right direction. A nudge? I dislike gambling. I much prefer something that gives me an edge. I understand that's your forte. You seem remarkably well informed. How much would you like to invest? Well, I thought I'd start slowly. Perhaps a million to begin with. Well? That is a decent sum for your first investment. It'll be enough to let me see if your advice is worth following or not. Come to my office tomorrow and uh, we'll discuss it further. Tomorrow then. Simon. Door. You know, if I didn't know that, I'd say you two would flirt. End around one. Looks like they're back and up to their old tricks. It was definitely them. No doubt, boss. There were loads of people coming and going. I reckon they're in the middle of another con. Should we bring them in? No. Stay on top of them. If we time this right, we'll get them and whatever money they're calling these poor bastards out of. Double bubble. All right. City Central House. Hello, darling. It's Terry in maintenance. I'm uh, running a phone check, drawing a few blanks. Who have you got on holiday? Mr. Harris is on leave until Monday. Third floor. Six. Room 610. All right, cheers, darling. Server? Not me. Online diary okay? Yeah, look, I haven't got time for this. I'll be two minutes. Okay, it's up by one. That's four, two, six. Two, six. By one, two, two, seven, two. OSP, yeah, it's up by point four. All done. Okay, down by three. Two, one, seven. Hi, it's Nick Evans here, building management. How's everything down there after the fire? Excellent, good. Problem is, health and safety have been on. Yeah, they want to send someone to check our building wrecks. No, 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 I'll deal with it. Uh, just tell him to come to the sixth floor. I'll have someone meet him at the lift, yeah? Okay, thanks, Blake. 
Hi, hello. Yes, I'm having a presentation this morning and I need some stuff sent out. Yes, I've got a list. Environmental services. I believe you were expecting me. Uh, yes, if you take a lift to the sixth floor, someone will meet you there. Thank you. So, how does all of this work? OK, I've taken a wireless feed from the trading floor upstairs, which means you've got a direct live feed to the market, which comes into your VDU, then out into this. Mm. This takes the live feed, records it, delays it for about a minute before feeding it to the big screen. Makes you look like a bleeding genius. You see the market price go up and down on the VDU here, which only you can see. Very good. So, you watch your screen, see what the market's doing and make you play. She watches it all come true on the big screen. Brilliant. I'll keep calling you on these mobiles from the Kazi. You make it sound like you're getting information. Right, time I wasn't here. Nice to see you haven't lost your touch. Well, a bit rusty, but it's all coming back. You had a bit of excitement, old boy. Fire, wasn't it? Yeah. I put it out single-handed, I'd heard. Bloody good show. Did you a little bonus, I shouldn't wonder. You know, I think I'll have a word with personnel. Gary, is it? Uh, Gary Cole. I'll see to it personally. Ah, here's my party now. Get the lift for us, Gary, would you? There's a good fella. William asked me to pop down and take you up. I've got an office on the same floor, and he's stuck on the phone to New York. Follow me. Thank you, Gary. Not far now. Here we are. Stop talking. No, stop talking. Stop talking. Listen, I want you to start unloading in small batches. Nothing big. Because I've had a whisper that their results are worse than forecast, which means they'll take a tumble as soon as they're announced. Yes, exactly. So sell quietly, stay under the radar. Well, that's my good deed for the day. I'll leave you to it. Have fun. Mm-hmm. Yes, exactly. Morning. OK. Yes? Chief Lara in Riley, tell you, yeah? How sure are you? Only you're supposed to be looking at your screen. Thank you. Yeah, by two, we'll get rid of it for 63. Dawson and his market price rising sharp. Give him that two Buy Dawson and Hughes chemicals. 50k. Yes? Of course, historically, you've never had much luck with brunettes, have you? When will this go public? All blondes, for that matter. All redheads. No, thank you, Nick. I owe you one. <laughs> I've just had a heads up about all those signs. Sell whatever we're holding. Assuming you don't claim any psychic abilities, I assume you have fantastic contacts. Yes. The best that money can buy. Buy? Well, most of the city is corrupt, one way or another. Inside information becomes a commodity, just like everything else. Sorry, all on held out. Yes, yeah, Simon. How was the day? It was very impressive. Did you pay the broker? Honestly, William, you've spent 600000 today. Have you any idea what it's like carrying all that cash around? You deal in cash? Well, if I buy stock in the usual fashion, it turns into a feeding frenzy. So, yes, I deal in cash. Yeah. And that way, no one knows what I buy or when. Imaginative accounting. Exactly. <laughs> so, William, now I've seen what you can do, I've decided I'd like you to do the same for me. 
That's very big of you. Isn't it? I take 20% commission. Agreed. Although, I have a small request. Oh? Something I learned when investing in property. And what's that? When someone else invests your money, the only way to guarantee they're careful with it is to ask them to match it. Match it? That way they're gambling their money along with yours. It's an act of faith. Never heard of such a thing. Mm. I'm listening. We make it a joint venture. A million each. You invest it all, and then we share the profits equally. If I lose, you do too. Of course, the only people who ever refuse such a request either have no balls, or they don't think they can live up to expectation. Well, in that case, how could I refuse? Good. Tomorrow, then. Oh, I didn't see this coming. No, me neither. Plays right into our hands, though. How so? Well, if she thinks I've lost money too, it'd be hard for her to smell a rat. How long do you need to clear the office after we've done? Oh, I just got to disconnect the feed. Ten minutes. Okay. So we let her make an early profit. We relax, find a company in free fall, and hit her with the sting. Once that happens, you should get her out as quickly as possible. Right. We should also work out what we're going to do about Eddie and his bar. Yeah. What do you have in mind? Well, we do need an extra pair of hands. <laughs> so what's the catch? There's no catch. There's always a catch. Well, maybe you could redecorate. I tell you, every bit of wallpaper and all the carpets and all the fittings myself, you know. Maybe that's the problem. But that aside, you're back in business, if you want. Equal partners. With you two. Is there a problem? It feels a bit like starting up a pension fund with Robert Maxwell. Do we have a deal or not? Listen, you've still got to pay for all your drinks, OK? I need to keep the books straight. Goes without saying. OK, deal. <laughs> Haven't you got work to do, Edward? You seem to be spending a lot of time with these gentlemen. And they're friends of yours, I assume? Yes, they are. Well, perhaps you should spend less time socialising, you yeah? know? And more time with our other guests, which, uh, after all, is what I pay for. OK? Good. Bollocks. <laughs> I beg your pardon? He said bollocks. You can't talk to me like that. I think you'll find that he just did. Keep the change. You sure there isn't a catch? There is just one little thing. Do you know what? I flame in nearly. They left about half an hour ago carrying a briefcase. The boys are watching them. Let's pay him a little visit, shall we? I'll come and get you. Then go to room 6, 10 and say what's on this birthday. OK. Same as yesterday, and then after an hour, I'll find a company in free fall and buy heavy. Of course, all hell will break loose, but I'll offer to help them recoup their losses tomorrow. By which time will we go? Exactly. You can help calm them down and get them out. Right. I'm here to make a collection. <clears throat> I'm... Oh, God. <clears throat> I'm here to make... I'm here to make a... I'm... I All you later. The world. <laughs> and I was beginning to think you changed your mind. Nervous? Never. Oh, been spending your profits already, I see. I'm not convinced that's any of your business. But yes, I have a dinner party this weekend. And do you have your investment? Have you bought yours?
niceties over, shall we get started? Of course. Allow me. Thank you so much. Just put the cases over there. The broker's sending someone around. I'll, uh, I'll organize some coffee. Uh, yes, that's a wonderful idea. Please. All right, mate. Do your stuff. How certain are you? No, 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 that's good enough for me, Tim. Thanks. 100,000 in fast co logistics. Ooh, a good start. For God's sake, rather than sitting there like a moron, why don't you take the bags back to the hotel? Sorry. You can bring the car back to get me later. He has a degree in business studies. <laughs> Worth half a mil? Okay, let me know. Hello, Martin. Mr. Dagmar, I'm here to make a collection. Two cases there. Tell Nick they're to go into a separate account. In your name, sir? No, Dagmar and Naismith. I'll make sure to let him know. Thank you. Yes? Really? How heavy? Good man. I'll see you back at the bar. I make us up around £200,000. It's not exactly world-shattering for a £2 million investment. It's early yet. I'm waiting for their heads up on a couple of financial reports. They should have a big effect on the market value of the companies concerned. If we move quickly enough, well, we could make quite a killing. Hmm. Well, then, I'll take the chance to visit the ladies while I can. She's gone to the bathroom. Should take a look. Only me. Damn Jeff is out of action. I've been called a bit short. Hello? Anyone there? She's not there. What? Well, she's vanished in the thin air. There she is. Cases. Changed cases. Yeah. Dark brown leather. Gold looks. Switch. That's outrageous. We've been conned. <laughs> yes! We did it. We bloody well did it. You are a genius. <laughs> yes, I am. Finally, we can get out of this dump. I'm seeing a penthouse with a butler and a box at the Emirates and a Porsche. You know, and you know what? You can have enough Jimmy Choo's for three octopuses. Or is it octopi? <laughs> and a holiday, oh, a holiday, somewhere hot, Mexico. You switched the wrong sodding case. No way. That's his case, I swear it. Yeah? Well, how can it be? Because there's 50s on the front. You told me to use 20s, and I did. You checked, remember? 
I don't believe this. We've been conned. Watch. We're looking for some people. Who? A couple of grifters. They're inside. OK. Let's have them. Fit bird and a young bloke. How would you know that? Ain't you heard? I know everything. So where are they? Are you going to hit me if I don't tell you? Almost certainly. Not sure there'll be much left of them by now. Why not? Because you ain't the only ones looking for them. Shit! Hello, Vicky. You done me for 30 grand. Explain. Oh, please do. Well, it... Just... Oh! Come here! Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Why? Oh! Leave her! Get off! <coughs> oh, more money. I'm going to have to make them cut his nuts off and feed them to him. OK. OK. Em, don't do it! Shut up! It's OK. There's your 30 grand. Thank you. Take it down to the car. Oh, wait. You've got your money. Oh, I've got a little something extra in my fur. Yeah? Come on! Who the hell are you? Is this fool really asking me who I am? Yeah, I think he is. He's a black guy I told you about. The one they were meeting up with. Yes, sir, all right. And him. OK, I'm going to ask you again. Who are you and what do you want? These people stole some money from my employer. Oh, yeah. You better join the end of the queue, mate. The people we work for do not join queues. Shoot these fools, man. Now find this money. So what's in there then? Whoa, 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 wait. You stealing my money? No, 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 this is just the money I took off me. Shoot him too. No, 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 please. Get to, you can take the money. Take you, my money. Uh, I, you know, we, we haven't still nothing to do with lines. Bosh! No, please, please, you know, you don't have to kill me. We didn't see nothing. We didn't, we weren't even here. We're, we're, we're cool. Mm -hmm. We're cool, I swear. You're cool? Yeah. You sure? Yeah, yeah. All right, so tell me. What did you see? Nothing. Because it's nothing personal, but you know, if I ever see you again, I'm going to have to kill you. Sure. And every member of your family. Yeah. You understand? Mm. All right. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks. Thank you. 
Get up now. Well, that was intense. It's her, all right. And him. Shoot these four. Are you? Yeah, I was just going to ask you the same thing. I asked first. I'm Emma Kennedy. Sean. And I'm guessing you're not William Dagmar. No, I'm not. But you're grifters. This is Ash Morgan. Well, three socks. Pleased to meet you, I think. Well, then you must be... Michael Stone. <sighs> well, what's, what's going on? <sighs> We've just conned Mickey Bricks and Three Socks Morgan. I think you'll find it was the other way around. Oh, really? Because I thought we got clean away. With nothing. Uh, hang on, I was giving you as a mark. Hey, for one. That's where you told me she would be. It seems we've all been a part of someone else's game. Albert. Well, just think of it as me oiling the wheels. I have something for you. If you're interested. An M A R K. Her name is Sarah Naismith. Made her money in dubious overseas property deals and is now looking to invest in the market. Which is where I come in. Exactly. I've worked out a front for you. You'll be William Dagmar, a maverick trader on the money markets. He's good at what he does, but he hates the system, so now he deals only in cash. You'll be Sarah Naismith, and Sean, you'll be her PA. So how do we get to him? To this man, Simon Porter Jones. Don't worry, he'll be easy to reel in because he's a sucker for a pretty face. Simon Porter Jones. Sarah Naismith. The real test will be William Dagmar. And remember, he likes strong women. Does that bother you? You seem to have put a lot of thought into this, Alfred. <laughs> well, time on my hands. <laughs> so how'd you two meet? Well, we bumped into each other a while back. Albert took me under his wing, told me all about the long con. She is rough around the edges with lots to learn, but with the right person. Well, oh, what? Who better than you? You could have just introduced us, you know, like a normal person. Where's the fun in that? Besides, it's important for you all to see what the others can do. Well, you were looking for a new crew, Mick. Oh, she must be good for you to go to all this trouble. One way to find out. You got to hand it to him. He's a clever old sod. So, we're all working together now, then? No, we're not. Thought... No, you thought wrong. I choose my own crew. OK. Just give us back our 30 grand and we'll be on our way. Ah. Problem? Yeah, we had to invest that. In what? It's a long story. Oh, this yeah, nice one. Can you go over there and do one? Yeah, brilliant. Nice one. Come on, cheers. Great. Then we're broke. Come on, guys. Us for working together, we can make a fortune. Is your boyfriend always like this? Mostly. Except he's not my boyfriend. He's my baby brother. Albert's been in a lot of trouble, Mick. I don't like to be manipulated, even by Albert. 
think you'll find, Ash, that this is just about him not liking being told what to do. It's a character flaw. Albert told me about it. Did he know? Yeah. Did he tell you anything else? Lots. Such as? He told me enough about how you play poker to beat you hands down every time. <laughs> I doubt that. And he also said that I was the only person he knew that could drink Ash Morgan under the table. Whoa, whoa. that sounds like fighting talk. Well, I guess we'll never find out. Come on, Sean. Good luck, guys. If nothing else, it was fun. Now, you have to admit, she was good. A bit rough around the edges. Yeah, but you could always train them up, man. Maybe. And you know what Albert's like? He'll only set us up again. <laughs> yeah, he will, won't he? Yeah, he's stubborn. A bit like you. Wait! As much as I know I'm going to regret this, I suppose we could try one score. Just to see how it goes. We won't let you down. I promise. It's my crew, though. I have the last word in everything. OK. So, you think the city's ready for us? I don't even know if I'm ready for you. Come on, let's do this. to find a mark, followed by a few drinks with Ash. And then, let's play some poker. All right, boss. Oh, we like that. It's a character flaw. <laughs> Enjoy it. Can't see it lasting. <laughs> <laughs> husband is taken hostage, Russell Crowe is her only hope for proof of life at 10.35, while the fashion of the 1940s are in the dock for a new series of Style on Trial. That's on BBC Four. <laughs>